All right. I want to share this with y'all. Two years ago, September two years ago, should I say, back in 2018, Jay Guido contacted me. He said something, uh, somebody on YouTube was messing with him or whatever. And he wanted me to go find the video and record it to have proof of what this guy was saying. This is the recording. I want to play it for you. You son of a bitch. I got you. Those are your favorites, huh? Those are your favorites, huh, Guido? Wait, watch this. That's Jake Guido. That's Jake Guido. Screenshot that. And compare that. To him. He loves those. He's listening. He's telling them, we're gonna get her. She get up there. It's Daryl Wilson that he's saying today. And I'm showing who Daryl is in this video. It's not something I had put up on YouTube. This was something that he asked me to do, and I made it. He had it on his page, or, or I don't know really remember what he did with it, but... There's a reason why I'm showing y'all this. I told her that that happens. She says she had on a blue jean shirt. Watch this. We found it. I just want you to get y'all a proof of what she said. We found it. We found it, y'all. We found it right before the kid was here. My body blow. Body blow. Body blow. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I'm not sure who the guy was. I think it, they they call him Rob. I'm not sure. Because I didn't watch. I don't watch nonsense like this, put it that way. But I think that's who Jay said it was. That's him doing all the tapping. I mean. That's him jumping all over the screen. I mean. Yeah, that's my recording that he was using. Okay. Now let me show you why I'm showing y'all this. Okay, let me go show you why. And if some of y'all don't like the fact that I'm showing this, I don't care. I consider Jay a personal friend of mine. We have may have never met in person, but for three years we've been friends online and we've talked to each other on the phone and, and I mean, you know, it's about the case or whatever, but still I consider him a personal friend and vice versa. So when somebody has got something to say about him, I take offense like I would any friend and trust and believe I'm looking at these comments that was in the live. This is a live from last night or yesterday or some shit. All right. 
Now check these out. Now, Kanika down there, you know what I'm saying? She down there in the And I'm not gonna tell you that I mean I'm not gonna show you that that this whole part when I was looking for the part that Jay was telling me about last night. What I went through to find it, this guy is taking the ninth and the tenth and he's mixing the footage together, saying that that's what the Crown Plaza did, and only he can decipher it shit like that. But the part that really get, got me was when he's throwing Jay in here. But I want you to compare what he says to what Rob says. Tell me if it's not the same damn thing. I'm not saying the same damn person, because it could be. But they got to know each other or some shit. And these people in the, in the, in the, in the chat over here, y'all are the cheerleaders. Some of y'all really disappoint me. They keep it somewhere. So, uh, an hour later, they come down. You see, this happened an hour later. Now, keep this in mind, Kanika missing for an hour now. This is 325. She missing for an hour. Now, look, she might got to walk and talk in her hand, in her shirt. This is why she keep bending her um, hand down, you know what I'm talking about? So look, when they go over there in that corner, it ain't no telling what happened over there in that corner. They talk to somebody. Because you know you can do a lot of tricks with the camera. So check this out. When they go over there and they cut over there, you know what I'm talking about? They talking to somebody. And we see Killer coming down about five Now watch, he's going to throw Jay in the mix. Five, ten minutes later. Now watch this, y'all. Before they went down there, this when they went towards the kitchen. This when they were going towards the kitchen. I can tell you, you right what now. I'm saying? Without him even showing the time frame on this thing. The time stamp. This is at 3.52 a.m. Saturday morning. And we all know these three dudes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to spill the tea on these suckers. See what I'm saying? Y'all see that with that red hat on? Yeah, that's Jay Guido, punk ass. That's that nigga I call out on Facebook, just Jay Guido. You see what I'm talking about? But yeah, I'm a flat. No, I don't think you called him out. I think he called you out and punked you out. Because you held your finger over the camera talking about uh, uh, I, that you couldn't get online. You couldn't get it online. What you messed up on was when you showed your side of the phone because you were not accepting the, the the invitation and when you did accept it you just held your finger over it we saw that all that bullshit you was talking you did that after the fact that's that sucker picture though but yeah that's him he the littlest nigga out the crew you know he a shout nigga you did what i'm talking about but that's that bastard you see what i'm saying now check this out now this when they go back to the uh back door. Now keep this in mind, Kanika done made it to their kitchen and now they escorting her through the parking lot. Now I want you, now look, y'all see they finna go out, right? But they met somebody in the hallway because they all of a sudden came back in. When they came back in They came back in because the one girl started puking. Everybody finna hit that little ATM machine. Just it ain't an ATM machine. If you knew anything, you had all these connections, like you say you got down there at the hotel that you got all this inside information. Then you'd know what the hell that was. This is what the hell it is. It ain't no damn ATM machine. It's paying for parking. Very simple. But, you know, that would require you to do your 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 homework, your research. Now, let me show y'all something else he's going to say here. While he's doing his bullshit lies. Talking about, he's going to tell y'all, uh, watch, watch the car lights out here. Okay? There's going to be two car lights that shines somewhere out in this area. Do you see this right here? That's a concrete half a wall. And he's going to try to say in his other video, and I guess that's what he's saying in this video too, that that's the, supposed to be Cocky's van 
driving straight up over here through the concrete wall, mind you. Because they walk in Kanika around from the kitchen outside the parking lot, hit her through the cameras, and brought her over here to the swimming pool so they could violate her. Okay? That's what kind of fucking idiot this is. See, look. This is when you look outside that glass door. If you were to walk outside that glass door. Okay? It's a concrete wall. The other way. See? How a van going to drive up over the damn concrete wall? Somebody tell me. Through a couple of them. Because this is a flower bed. Gardening thing. Whatever you want to call it. Going to drive right through here. The trees and all. And I'm going to tell you right now. To be all fair and honesty. I'm more angry at the cheerleaders in the chat. Than I am with him. Because I already know he's a liar. I expect him to lie. Just pay attention to how they finna hit the ATM machine. And why they gonna hit the ATM machine, focus on the back door so y'all can see the headlights and all. I'm reading the chat. Sorry. I've sent trade gang messages about this person. About that person. I never liked him because he disrespected trade gang production. Uh, if you're talking about Jay, let me tell you right now, Jay didn't even know Trey existed until him and his online wife decided to cahoots together and call Jay out. It's not what's happening. It ain't what's happening. That is not what is going on. That shit pisses me off. All this old shit. Because keep this in mind, you know what I'm saying? There was a point in time, you know what I'm saying? They had to train... You Keep is that man, you got that band out there. You see what I'm talking about? I hear. Now watch this. They gonna come back again. And they all finna hit the ATM. Okay, you got white hat at the ATM. He finna go first. I mean, that's Jay Guido right there. Jay Guido at the, uh, he at the cash machine, right? Nah. He couldn't make up his mind which lie he was going to tell. What's he doing? Getting some cash out? Is he getting cash out of the parking ticket machine? Y'all see the headlights going off at the back door? All right, yeah. check this out. Jay Guido with the ATM. and the Those headlights, if you saw them, they went off that way. That was the, the street thing, whatever you call it. Where they pull out from that parking lot across the street and they pull out like that and they turn that way. The dude with the white hat and to go right behind him to get on the ATM. You see what I'm saying? No, I don't, because ain't nobody on there. And pay attention to that back door, because you're going to see people cage. This girl the right wall, here. And you're going to see certain people running too. No, you ain't going to see shit. This girl right here, when she goes out, she's the one that's all drunk and shit. You're going to see the girls kind of hop back. Like their the feet, moving their feet back. Because the girl's out there puking. You see what I'm saying? Now check out the girl in the white. She finna go creep and look out in that window back there. Because you know you can see the pool. You know what I'm saying? You can get a little glimpse in the pool. How are you going to see the pool when the pool's over here? If she looking out the door, how are you going to see the pool over here? But all you idiot cheerleaders are over there believing his ass and spreading the same damn lies. You do you want to come out? So check this out. They standing there for a reason, y'all. They ain't standing there, you know what I'm saying, just to be standing there. Everybody at the ATM. So what's going on in that hallway? Something going on in the hallway. There ain't no damn hallway there. This man's getting dry as Barbara. That's why they got to be bringing other people's names up. Talking about I killed a cop in Rosemont. Talking about Jay was there. I done married somebody in, in T.Y.'s family. I need y'all to like, share, and subscribe, Jack. And let's get that news out of there. Now watch this. Now y'all see the look. Pay attention to the back door. You gonna see people on their phone. You know when you walking with your phone, you can see it light up in your hand. You see what I'm saying? Now pay attention to everything. 
He's he's like rewinding and playing it over again. Jumping too. See now she's gonna back up because she didn't want to go out there with them. Now she starts to go. Can y'all wow. see her? Look, okay. We seen all them folk went Why to the jumping? ATM machine. This is 257, y'all. That was at 257. He can't tell time. It's at 357. And if he's reading this time over here, it says 256. So he's just making this shit up as he goes along. And he's the one doing the skipping. Now y'all see her? Show the parts right. Look, okay. We seen all them folk went to the ATM machine. This at 257, y'all. That was at 257. Now y'all see the white girl with her walkie talkie on her? Trey gang, it's a man. It's not a girl. I know you may have trouble telling the difference. And she ain't got no walkie talkie. It's a shadow. If you watch the footage, you would know this instead of just make. Oh, that's right. You do know because you're a movie producer. She got a walkie talkie on her hip with her earpiece and all that shit. Now she on the elevator time. Look, just look at her hip. She got a walkie talkie. And she's going to look back and tell somebody the code. What code? How do you know what the hell she said? They say you see you just lying and making the shit up. Now hold up. Now see, I'm going to play this again. Don't this just remind you they act the same, they talk the same. Maybe it is the same person. I don't know. You son of a bitch. I got you. Those are your favorites, huh? Those are your favorites, huh? Wait, watch this. It's Jake that is Daryl Wilson, Davion Wilson, and Kelly Robinson. Trey Gaines getting pitiful. But like I said, I expect him to tell lies. Those cheerleaders, a lot of y'all are my subscribers also. If that's who you're supporting and cheerleading, I really prefer not to see you around my channel. Because if you on his channel and you ain't calling him out, then you're cheerleading for him. And you're just as wrong as he is. And you can say it ain't my place to call him out. Your silence is your acceptance. Period. You're cheerleading. 